I always clock between 200 and 220 kilometers a week. Thursday, we normally have 40 kilometers. And I remember running 40 kilometers in altitude, I mean, downhill and, and uphill road. It's really hard. It destroys the muscles. I need to get the best shoe, uh, which can really protect me from the impact from the crown, which can actually make me benefit from the old runs. Because when you are too tired, then you cannot actually do the next workout in a required time. I think that this tempo shoe helps you to train very hard. To me, a measurable benefit to a runner's training means the shoe is going to allow me to achieve 100% of my own success. You can run fast in any shoe. The question is, are you running in a shoe that's eventually going to hinder how fast you can run? Or is the shoe actually going to help you run fast? The tensile fibers inside the Zoom airbag are what makes it really special. Without those fibers, if you put pressure on one side of the airbag, all of the air would rush to the other side. But since those tensile fibers connect the top and the bottom of the airbag, when you put pressure on one side of the airbag, it holds that internal pressure and gives you that empty back. The plate is important because it helps provide some propulsion. It also helps smoothen up the transition between the foam and the airbag. Zoom X is the lightest and most responsive foam that we have. However, because this is a training shoe and we want it to last, we put React Foam in the heel. And so this combination of durability and energy return is what makes this shoe super special. One of the beautiful things that we are doing is we're really aiming for universal design. The Zoom Tempo Next Percent Flyease has a classical heel that allows the user to insert the foot by pushing down on the heel and sliding their foot in similar to a slide or a mule. As we continue to push the limits of not only making athletes better, we also need to push the limits in terms of allowing all athletes to wear our product. I think the tempo gives you a little bit of taste that is sometimes just reserved for the ultra elite runner. But we tested this shoe on multiple continents and with so many different types of runners. If you can take the learnings of our race day shoes and if you can put them in a training day shoe, well, all bets are off on what barriers get broken because you have a limited amount of space to get better on race day. But if you extend that out to the four month buildup, you're now looking at hundreds and hundreds of miles of improvement that can fall into a 26.2 mile day. Giddy up.